I think these guys that we've got are the best in the business because they're, uh, they're just such good guys, they really understand performance. Being able to do shows like the Brisbane Ecker, you know, we love it, we get 10 days back to back. We're out there performing in front of thousands of people and get to hang out with all our friends that we've known from over the years from all the agricultural shows and being able to do this, it's a dream. Hey, my name's Brad Birch and I'm a professional freestyle motocross rider for the Showtime FMX team. I grew up on a dairy farm down in Victoria, so I was always around farm bikes, all that kind of stuff. It was just a natural thing. You name most of the races, most of the freestyle guys, and they've had access to farming and farms and that's, that's how they've kind of got into it. My first show for the Showtime FMX team was 2009 Ecker. I've done it for a fair few years now, but that'll always be a highlight for me. Robbie Marshall, uh, senior team rider and team manager. So I grew up on a farm in uh, Fernie Grove in Brisbane and I was three years old. My dad came home with a brand new little Honda QR50. So, uh, so we just started riding around the property and having a bit of fun with it. For my family, going to the Ecker every year was a, a thing that we looked forward to. My dad uh, always was there the first day to see the cattle auctions and all of that. So um, it's definitely memory sitting on the machinery hill and uh, watching the whole night show every year that we went. And I remember watching them and I'd, it'd give me goosebumps when the guys would come out and do that first jump. So just knowing that I can do that and now that you're the main attraction and having the kids watch you, then yeah, it's a pretty good feeling. My name is Kane Saul and I'm a freestyle motocross rider for Showtime FMX. I grew up in Gladstone, it was kind of in the town, but we were backed onto a bit of bushland, so if you, as soon as we get home from school, even if we did, didn't go to school, we'd just, you know, get on the bike, go straight out from the backyard, straight into bush and all through the state forest. So every day it was always, it was pretty much riding in the bush. We travel all over the country, and myself, I travel all over the world as well, and we perform in a lot of big arenas. To be honest, like the Ecker, it's one of my favorite shows. That arena there with um, the whole hill and everything, when, when it's a, a Friday, Saturday night, and it's completely packed out, just the buzz around the whole arena, it gets you so pumped up. It's pretty unreal. I think the last couple of years there, they've been doing the mobile phone lights at parts where they dim all the lights, and in the middle of that arena, having that atmosphere, of everyone cheering and screaming, it's it's next level. You can't even describe it. You, you, we can hear them with our helmets on when we're jumping, everything. So it gives you goosebumps. It's pretty awesome. Like just we're massive show off. So the more people, the better. Like it's yeah, it's, it's just an awesome feeling. It's a massive highlight when you hear the, the roar of, of the crowd and stuff. It uh, it just makes you want to go bigger and and put on the best performance you can. Do you expect to see everything like all the all the coolest tricks and all the all the biggest stunts in the game and most of all Brad Birch and Robbie Marshall and myself of course. <laughs> <laughs>